Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I've had the great pleasure and honor of working at the City of Highland Park for approximately one year now. And in the 20 years that I've worked in local government management, I've worked for four different municipalities, uh, as well as I've had the honor of also serving as the president of the Illinois City Managers Association. And as part of that role, I had the opportunity to meet with managers and boards and councils from across the state and, and really across the nation. And I will tell you that Highland Park, without a doubt, is one of the most progressive, engaged, professional communities that, uh, that I've ever seen and now been blessed to be a part of. And that's due in large part to all of you, all of you being here today. So I just want to echo the mayor's compliments and appreciation and thank you for being here today. It really takes everyone in the community to come together and to build upon our success. And I think that your words and your actions, most importantly, will continue to help us to be successful and to reach the next level of success as a community. What I'd like to do today is just provide you an overview of our economic development work plan. This work plan was uh, adopted by the City Council at the start of the year, and it guides the City's economic development initiatives for 2013 as well as 2014. It's in compiling this report, we received feedback from business owners, from um, property owners, from stakeholders, community leaders, or business and economic development commissions. So again, this is just another example of a work plan that was put together based on community feedback. And so it is important and it's an evolving document, so we are always making changes and looking to improve what we're currently doing. As you all know, Highland Park is a thriving community. We have more than 29,000 residents and we enjoy nearly five miles of Lake Michigan shoreline. We have six golf courses and I know it's tempting to want to play golf today, but uh, we thank you, just enjoy the scenery and we look forward to your feedback today. There's so much that our community has to offer as you very well know. We have nine business districts in the community and as a city, we work very closely with the business owners and the property owners and the leaders in these nine business districts to be able to provide you with the best quality services so you can continue to succeed with your business in the community. And so the nine business districts are highlighted right here on our map. The city's economic development work plan is included on the city's website and you'll see the website address uh, throughout the uh, throughout the day today. I encourage you to take a look at it in its entirety. I'm just going to highlight a couple of things, but really the foundation of the work plan rests with these goals. And at the core of that is our efforts for business retention, uh, working with businesses to make sure that they continue to be successful in the community, as well as bring in business attraction, which is bringing business to the community. We often receive the question of what exactly does the city do as it relates to business or economic development. And again, as indicated, we certainly can't do it alone. So this is just a snapshot of some of our primary partners as it relates to business uh, development. Um, of course, we as the city take a great role. Um, business and property owners have a significant role, as you well know. Uh, the mayor mentioned the Business and Economic Development Commission. This is a group of volunteers that are appointed by the mayor uh, with the consent of the city council to provide recommendations on policy for the council's consideration. So their input and feedback is critical to our continued success. We have a great working relationship with the chamber as well as a public and private partnership with the Central Business District Downtown Alliance. Um, now if I could briefly, if uh, all the city representatives if you could stand. Elected, appointed, hired, at will employees. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, if you are with the Business and Economic Development Commission, if you could please stand. Thank you so much. Um, if you are a chamber board member, chamber member, please stand. Thank you. Anyone serving on the Alliance? The Essential Business District Alliance, if you could please stand. Yeah, Alyssa, if you could stand the whole entire time. <laughs> and if you're a business property owner, if you could please stand. Property owners. Excellent. Thank you. And again, thank you so much for being here. 
The city's role for economic development, again, is, as I indicated, is really the core of business retention and business attraction. We do help promote available property. Uh, we often get asked if we negotiate leases. We do not. Um, if there is a business that's interested in locating in our community, we have a list of available property and we'll put them in touch with either the property owner or the broker and help facilitate that relationship and the deal. Once a lease is signed or a property is, uh, is sold, then we work with that business to advance them through the permit process and make sure that that's most efficient as possible so they can do what they do best, which is run their business in the community. We have a one-stop shop for business. We understand that you want to run your business as a business owner, and so we want to make it easy for you. So if you have a question regarding any aspect of your business operation, uh, whether you're a property owner or a business owner, please don't hesitate to contact. This is our core team. Um, Carolyn Hirsch, I know everybody knows Carolyn, she's the Economic Development Coordinator. She does a stellar job in working with our businesses and bringing business in. So please don't hesitate to contact us, whether it's an issue relating to traffic, parking, your signage, um, even if it's regarding a utility, for example, that we do not control. We have relationships with these other entities and we can help facilitate uh, what your specific needs are. I'm not going to go through all of these, but just highlight a couple of them. As it relates to business retention, Highland Park has one of the most aggressive incentive programs available to business, and we want to make sure that everyone is aware of that. We updated our sales tax rebate program this year, again, to better serve our business community. And the purpose of this program is to stimulate sales tax growth, create jobs, and at the same time, and what's important for everyone, is preserving the sales tax <coughs> base that the city has. A business can receive up to $2 million in a rebate, which excludes land acquisition as part of this program. And so if a new business is making a capital investment of $250,000 and they generate a minimum of $1 million in sales tax, then they may be eligible for a rebate. And an existing business with a minimum of a $75,000 capital improvement project and again generates a million, of, million dollars in sales tax rebate is also eligible for a rebate. And again, this is a rebate of up to $2 million, which is just a great incentive for promoting business in the community. We also have a facade improvement program. This is a great program. Um, it's really kind of targeted for small businesses, but really any business can reap the rewards of this program. The purpose is to provide support and encourage uh, any type of facade redevelopment or enhancement to a business. And so the city would reimburse up to 50% of the cost of the facade improvement program as um, part of this excellent initiative. Both of these programs, further information is on our website, and we're happy to provide you with the application if you're interested or know someone interested in either of those. As part of our business attraction efforts, the city is a member of the International Council of Shopping Centers. Um, and so for those of you who attend um, those uh, two deal-making shows in Chicago, it's a great opportunity to network with retailers, brokers, lenders, other real estate professionals to help bring in business to Highland Park. And we're always looking for businesses that we feel would complement our business community. So again, if, if you know someone that's looking for space or you feel that you would be better served as a business by having someone next to you that would complement your business, just let us know and we'll do that outreach and help bring them to Highland Park. As indicated before, we have a number of partnerships um, and it is really the, the success of this program is dependent on the partners that we have um, indicated here and we'll continue to grow those relationships. We have a number of different communication tools. Um, the mayor and Councilman Noble and the rest of our city council are on Facebook and Twitter constantly. Um, please follow us. There's so much happening in our community. And, uh, and we want to be able to share that information. And likewise, if you have any ideas or if you'd like us to pursue anything, please don't hesitate to contact us. Our website is updated regularly and communication is really critical to the success of our customer service. Our shopping and dining guide, we promote all shopping and, and dining opportunities in the community. This year, we started including that guide in the city's newsletter, which is delivered to every property in the community. So it's just another way that we are promoting all the businesses that we have in the community. There are a number of different policy considerations that we're working on that would eventually um, go to the city council for consideration. Here's a snapshot of just a few of them. Um, we, uh, the council did approve earlier this year the update to our special event permit regulations and we also created um, at the request of a couple of property owners, a new permit process to allow temporary displays in the public right-of-way. 
we made this process very easy. Um, we, we removed a lot of different uh, processes that we had in there. So now this review process can be done administratively and, and uh, more efficiently just to better serve the business community. And also part of the plan is a number of different development and redevelopment opportunities. This is just a snapshot of them. I won't go into detail, but uh, understand that we are looking at the community as a whole and we're always looking to make improvements to our community. So this just gives an overview of some of the different parcels that we're looking at um, in terms of land use, zoning, development, redevelopment opportunity. We have right now three special service areas that are being considered um, uh, for, for the community. Um, the special service area is an economic development tool uh, whereby we receive a request from a property owner, a registered voter, to basically levy a tax on a specific geographic <coughs> boundary of an area. And that tax would be used for the purpose of improvements to that district. So it could be special events and marketing, it could be capital improvements for the signage, streets, sewer, water mains, whatever the case may be. So three special service areas, they're also listed on our website right now. There's one for Rubinia, which would be a three-year SSA, uh, $90,000 per year. There's one for Briargate, which is proposed to be a 10-year SSA at $40,000 per year. And then the third one is the Central Business District, um, which is a three-year SSA, uh, $300,000. So further information is available on our website. We're happy to talk to you about that. And I'm happy to answer any questions a little bit later. I do want to just take the time because there was a significant amount of work put into coordinating this business summit. And so I'd just like to recognize our planning team. Um, Councilman Alyssa Noble, um, just please stand. <laughs> Thanks, please stand. <laughs> Karen Berardi is our management analyst in the city manager's office. Carolyn Hirsch, economic development coordinator and Allison Redfield in the Economic Development Office. Um, this is the core team. They worked tirelessly to really coordinate a spectacular business summit for everyone here today and for our whole community. So thank you to all of you. And we have a number of different staff members here today also providing support. So if you need anything, please don't hesitate to contact us. And thank you again.